I had a request for a Gerson approved salad dressing, which means it's also going to be a whole food plant-based salad dressing. And I'm going to show you the basic Gerson recipe to start with and then some alternatives if you're not Gerson that you could use to spice it up a little more. So to start with, we're going to start with one cup of grated carrot. And you want to start with organic. I like to use everything organic. And if you're Gerson, you have to use organic. It's, this is one third cup of plain rice vinegar and one third cup distilled water. If you're not a Gerson person, use whatever water you want. Use a, an approved water for you, okay? One third cup of each. I have two tablespoons of shallot, or you can use a little red onion or yellow onion, whatever kind of green onion you can use, two tablespoons. It gives it a nice little flavor. And then I'm using a quarter of a pear. You can use a quarter of an apple. You can use a quarter of an orange, some little piece of fruit for sweetness. And then what I add is just a little bit of raw garlic. If you're missing heat in your Gerson food, because we're not allowed to have any hot peppers, I find that if I put a little raw garlic in, that helps satisfy some of that hot that I'm missing. So I'm gonna put just maybe a half a clove of raw garlic, because I don't want this real garlicky, okay? And then I'm putting in a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, which is also healthy for us. Not just tasty, but healthy. And then I'm going to puree this. There, it doesn't take long, especially starting with the grated carrot. And I'm using a, a, just a good blender. It's not a Vitamix, it's just a good blender. This is a KitchenAid and it's, Kind of pureed. I can show you there. It's a little on the thick side. If you want it thinner, you can add a little more water to this. You can add a little orange juice to this, a little apple juice if you want it a little thinner. I think I'm going to thin mine just a little bit with just a little more water. And it helps if you can let it run longer. I didn't want to run it too long because you're sitting there, but it helps if you can let it run for a good minute and then that really pulverizes it. Now, and this is, this is it, this is done. You can, oh, and, and one more thing you can add in Gerson, you could add a little seasoning. Now you could add a little allspice or a little mace, just a, just a dash, you don't want much in there, uh, but just a little bit for some flavor you could add. And that's your Gerson recipe for a salad dressing and it's very tasty. Now, if you're not a Gerson person and you're looking for more flavor, you can use a little maple syrup, you can put in a little miso, which not only gives it a, a little salt, but it also gives it good, um, the good bacteria, like what's in yogurt, but without the dairy. So, um, it, and it gives it the flavor of the ferment from the miso. So you can put a little miso in there, about a tablespoon. You could put in mustard, which will give it a nice flavor. You can just put in some regular black pepper, or you could put in some fresh ginger or some ground ginger. We're not allowed to have ginger in Gerson. None of these other things are Gerson. But if you're just a whole food plant-based person, you can add in some of these other ingredients to make it even more exciting. And I find I also like it with a little fresh parsley sometimes or a little fresh cilantro. So you can change it up. And parsley and cilantro are okay in Gerson, so you can add those. So what I'm gonna do now is just run it on my blender and we're gonna have our salad tonight because we got our Misfits box today. And I've got nice red leaf lettuce, and I'm gonna put this salad dressing on there. So, I gotta poke it down, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>